Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, like, and comment on the videos. I am back in the yak shack today, so that means I'm not fishing. The reason I'm not fishing is it's so daggone windy. Uh, I couldn't fish if I wanted to. It's, we're getting gusts to 20 miles an hour today. It's an awesome day, sunny, nice weather, but the wind's terrible. So today, I'm getting ready to make your life a whole lot easier showing you how to rig this Nico helper mite. I'm going to rig it weedless, and 99.9% .9 of the time, you will be able to fish this and won't get hung up. It's going to make your life great on the river. Stick around, I'll show you how we do it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to rig a Nico Helgramite today, weedless. Uh, we didn't come up with this, I don't guess. It's probably been done by other people, but we found that the easiest way to rig this is Texas rig it. And I'll get into showing you how to do that right now. Guys, there's only three items you need to rig this Texas rigged and make it totally weedless. You need a Nico Helgramite. These things, you can catch all kinds of fish on them before they tear up. They will not come off the hook. They stay on the hook. Really well-designed bait. Of course, you need a hook. This is a one-aught worm hook. I use just a standard one-aught worm hook. I don't use a wide gap. I don't like a wide gap for this bait. I want it to be a regular worm hook, offset worm hook, just the slimmest profile that I can make this bait have. Another item you need, which I don't know if you can see that or not, that is a finesse sinker. That sinker has a hole in each end and through the center. It slides up and down your line. You want that weight to be able to move freely up and down your line. Almost like a fish finder rig that you would use in the ocean. They make, they make these in many different sizes. This one happens to be hand poured, homemade. This one, this one was bought at Bass Pro. You can find them at Bass Pro. They also have them at Bass Pro, just a little bit longer than this, probably double the length. Those are eight ounce weights. You can also find little bullet weights to use if you want a bullet weight to sort of protect the head of that Helgramite, or if you want to leave the knot sticking out of the Helgramite, that'll protect your knot a little bit. So let's get to rigging this bait. So I don't know how good you can see this. We'll see how good you can see it. Hopefully you can see it pretty good. So take that Helgramite. It has eyes on top, so you know which is the bottom, which is the top. It's got two eyes on top. So you want to find the center of that head of that Helgramite. Run that tip back to the end of the head section and out. So it should look right like that. This is the bottom. So you want to slide that Helgramite all the way up into that offset. Once you do that, the hook's going to be coming out of the bottom of the Helgramite, just like this. That's pretty centered. Then you want to hold your Helgramite out there and look to see what section that hook is going to come through. So, to get that thing to lay straight, I need to run it through this section right here. So that's what I'm going to do next. Right through the bottom, out through the top. Just push it right through. Now, that's got it pretty flat, pretty even. The next thing you want to do is you want to just skin hook that hook. So push up on the Helgramite a little bit. 
Brand that hook into that skin. You want that Helgramite to lay as flat and as straight as it can lay. That hook's a little bit off center, but it's not off center by much. The other thing I do is I always make sure that I pull that head up to where that knot is inside the body. That knot has disappeared inside the body. That head of that bait will protect that knot along with your weight when it slides up there. So, this is how it looks rigged. If you can see that. Pretty straight bait. The presentation is going to be when it goes to the bottom, that bait is going to sit like this. Your weight's going to sit on the bottom, and your bait's going to sit like this. If you let out line, your line's able to slide through that weight, and it'll make that helgramite rise off the bottom. Pull it tight, it'll make it that helgramite stick to the bottom in an upright position. This is about the best way that you can rig this Helgramite and it won't get hung. I know a lot of people Ned rig them, put them on a Ned head, a deadly Nedly head, uh, stand up heads, different kinds of heads, which is fine if that's what you want to do, but we were looking for a way to rig this to where it would not get hung and this is the best way we've found to rig it and not get hung. So guys, if you got any questions on how to rig this, drop us some comments or contact us at bigbaitposse at charter.net and we'll be glad to answer your questions. Uh, I hope this video helps you out. I hope it, you learn something from it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support that you've given us, and we hope to see you on the water.